Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. And I'm here today with the April So Haley Jane subscription box unboxing. I am super excited to share this one with you. I've already opened it and I think this could be possibly my favourite ever box. Ever. That is a big statement. I'm going bold with this one. I think this month's box is my favourite ever and that will soon become apparent why because this box is just a bit of me it is absolutely right up my street i'm so excited to share it with you so if you can hear rain i apologize it is torrential rain here it's the 10th of april i don't remember when it last didn't rain it yesterday was so miserable and you know when the weather just makes you really miserable <laughs> I was on such a downer yesterday because I just kept looking out at the rain. I just want a bit of sunshine. I mean, I know there's, you know, it's first world problems and all of that. There's a lot worse things going on than the weather, but a little bit of sunshine wouldn't go amiss, would it? And just, it just fills your heart with joy <laughs> to see a little bit of sunshine, a bit of warmth on your skin. Oh, so please. Can we have some sunshine? Right, that's that's that over with. I'm not wearing anything me made. I'm wearing this really cool slouchy jumper that I bought recently from TK Maxx and I'm just obsessed with it. And I think I need to just take the pattern off this because it's like my ideal fit, my ideal size, my ideal slouchiness. It's got a dropped shoulder. It's just really lovely. I love it. And I get compliments whenever I wear this. So I think I just need to copy the pattern off it and then recreate it in many different fabrics. On my mannequin, you're probably going to see this for the next few videos, to be honest. It's the progress of my Jenna shirt by Closet Core Patterns in this really cute cotton poplin from Hey So Sister. So anyway, should we get into the box then? So this is the April box and I get the classic box, which is like the middle tier and it costs £40 per month. There is a luxury box, which is £70 per month. There is a mini box, which is £25 per month, I believe. And you get varying different amounts of fabric and haberdashery and gifts and things in the different boxes. So let's get into it. So Haley's boxes always greet you with this really bright, vibrant yellow tissue paper. And then inside we have uh, all of our goodies. So let's start with the magazine, which I absolutely love. It's full of inspiration. And this month's is issue 65 and it's called Paint by Numbers. The artwork's always really cute on the covers of these. I love them. So Hayley talks about why she's chosen this theme and she goes back to talking about her school days and her art teacher and being inspired by her art teacher and other art teachers that people may have. And then talks through the different fabrics and also gives the winner of this month's fold line voucher. So if you share your box arriving or you sitting down to enjoy opening your box on Instagram with the hashtag SHJ Unboxing Ritual, you could possibly win a £15 fold line voucher, which is really cool. So in the magazine, we've got an interview with a business called Stitchfinity who provided a gift for the box. They are like a cross stitch company, so they design and make cross stitch kits. And it says that they're not really the cutesy, old fashioned style, but more modern, up to date cross stitch. Then we've got a lovely article with the gorgeous Jess from So What If I Sew, all about her Sew Yellow for Endo campaign and challenge and the money that she raised and things like that. So I'll look forward to reading that. Then the first article that I've written for this month's magazine is sharing five camisole patterns that you could make with this month's extra fabric so you get a meter of an additional fabric or up to a meter each month this month it's a meter and the fabric is perfect for making a camisole top or a cami top a little vest top for the warmer weather i say as it's tipping it down with rain so i'm just sharing five patterns some of which i've tried some i haven't and they'd all be perfect for that fabric the make of the month is this stunning make by anne so anne lives in the northeast and she has made this beautiful dress out of one of the luxury box fabrics from a few months ago. 
It's a really gorgeous. It's a Tasuti, Tasuti dress. That's just gorgeous. Love that. Then three fabrics, three makes. Esther got the one meter of additional fabric this month and made this really lovely top. Gemma got the luxury fabric and made a cohort set of a waistcoat and trousers. And then this month's third fabric is modelled by Hayley herself. So Hayley got the classic fabric to sew something up with and she's made the Maeve skirt by True Bias. So that's a little hint to the fabric there and you probably now understand why I love it so much. <laughs> Then my second article that I've written is all about sewing challenges, particularly mainly those that are hosted on Instagram. So I've shared 10 reasons why I think it's great to get involved with sewing challenges. So I talk through different reasons there, share a few of the different challenges that have been happening or are happening soon, and hopefully encourage people to get involved with them if they haven't before. Hayley goes through some of her favourite things, a couple of her little links, things she's been watching. The TV show she mentions is The Reluctant Traveller with Eugene Levy. I've watched the first episode of that, Sam and I watched it together and really enjoyed it, but we need to go back and watch some more of it. The Makers Gallery is always full of inspiration. There is a profile of the month and this month it's Kelly. Kelly is just gorgeous. We met actually at the Stitch Festival recently and she has a sewing YouTube channel along with her friend Dee and it's called Sisters of Stitchcraft. So they're definitely worth a follow and I'll look forward to reading all about Kelly. There are some pattern picks from the fold line and then just the planning sheet at the back and it tells you all about what is in the different boxes. Let's dig in. Oh, I don't know where to start. Well, the first thing that I can see is the additional fabric this month, and it is this beautiful viscose. Oh my goodness. I just love this so much. It's got that sort of tie-dye watercolour ink. It's just, yeah, it's all of that kind of vibe. And it's beautiful in these really summery and spring-like colours. So I will definitely be making a little vest top with that. I think it will be perfect for something like the Ogden Cami or maybe the Helen's Closet Orchard top, which I made recently and loved. The sweet treat is one of my favourite, favourite treats and it's a strawberry refresher bar. I love these. It's got like sherbet inside and it's a bit fizzy and it's sticky and chewy. Oh, I love these. Absolutely love them. I will definitely be having that. I won't be sharing that with Taylor. I don't want him to get a liking for these. <laughs> then the gift from Stitch Affinity, which I mentioned was a cross stitch kit. So I don't know if everybody's got the same kit or if we've got a little mixture, but I've got this gorgeous B. And actually one of our friends is called B and she is going through a really tough time at the moment with her health. And I think I will make this and give it to her as a little gift. It says you can frame it or you can use it in a card. So I think I'll pop that in a card and then just send her a lovely little message to let her know that we're thinking of her. So yes, I look forward to doing that. There is also a lovely gift of some buttons. So five shell buttons in like shades of blue, which are really nice. Then the thread that I got is this gorgeous vibrant blue, which is one of my favourite colours, like a cobalt blue. And then the fabric you have seen already in Haley's Make. Oh, I love this. This comes in three different colourways, I think. And actually, I've seen one of the colourways before and I'm obsessed with it. Oh, it's a viscose and it's this incredible tie-dye design. So I've got the blue and it's got oranges and different shades of blue. I just think this is incredible. I love it. It's a really large scale design. You can see the size of the, the size of the pattern on it. And I've got two and a half meters of this. And I just really think I want to make a dress in this. I loved Hayley's skirt, but I want to make a dress. And I recently got a new dress pattern that I have looked at for ages and ages it's not a new pattern i think it was out last year and i bought it recently when she had a sale on and i think this fabric would be perfect for it so the pattern is called the daphne maxi dress by mason so sewing patterns by mason 
So this dress is described as having an, a high empire waistline. It's fitted over the bust. It's got short puff sleeves and a long flowy skirt. It says that it's perfect for pattern hacking. You can easily swap the sleeves out for something else. Um, you can maybe make it into a strappy. Ooh. You can easily exchange the puff sleeve for straps. I think I might do that actually. Make it a strappy maxi dress. Or you can lengthen it to a three quarter sleeve. You can shorten the skirt, lengthen the skirt, add a gathered skirt, whatever. So it says the options are endless. I love this dress. I think it's beautiful. I think it's the perfect canvas for showing off a really large print like this because there's not an awful lot of seam lines after you get past that little bust section. The rest of it is just like a front and a back panel. So I think this fabric will be perfect for that and it'll really show off that large print. That pattern, fabric recommendations are cotton, linen, viscose and silk. Well, this is a viscose, so that's perfect. And for most of the sizes, 2.5 meters is gonna be perfect, which is what I've got. I think when you get into the larger sizes, you might need a little bit more, but you could always just shorten the skirt to save on a bit of fabric. Yeah, it goes up to 2.9 meters for the larger sizes. So in terms of the sizes, it's sizes A up to J, and that takes you from a 33 inch bust to a 54 inch bust, a 35 inch hip to a 56 inch hip. So I'm just gonna have one option for this. I'm not even gonna come up with other ideas because I just want to make that dress out of this. <laughs> so that is what I'll do. So I hope you've loved seeing what was in this month's box. What do you think? Genuinely, that is my favourite box ever. So well done, Hayley. You've completely smashed it, knocked it out of the park. You've just designed like my ideal box. So thank you. If you got that one or the luxury box, do let me know what you're thinking of making with your fabric. I'd love to hear. If you are tempted and you haven't signed up to the box before, you can get 10% off your first box with the code TAMLIN10. I'll leave the link in the details to all of that down below. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again soon in my next one. Happy sewing. Bye. Then three boxes, three makes, or three fabrics, three makes. Let's do that again. So Ruan and Rachel again are messaging and having a conversation <laughs> and the messages are just popping up. So girls, I'll be with you soon. <laughs> if you would like to subscribe to the So Haley Jane boxes and get your first box with a bit of a discount, then you can do soon and you can... Ah, I'm so distracted by these messages.